Hello folks and welcome to the maybe most complex video I'm trying to record for you. Um, can you see me waving hello over here or over there? Uh, I only have one hand free because in my right hand at the moment is the red expansion unit. Um, the video today is about this uh, Commodore 64 expansion that enables you to, re to uh, experience the features of a RAM expansion unit uh, created in the 80s by Commodore. And uh, but uh, recently it uh, got a, uh, another feature um, with a new tech demo. The developer Frenetic added the feature to play Doom using the RAM expansion unit. How cool is that? So and now that people are getting used to play Doom on their Commodore 64. Um, based on the ARM CPU of a Raspberry Pi that lives inside of the RAD expansion unit. They now are getting slowly bored and are wondering what options do I actually have to get the sound out of the cartridge and what is the best sound option for playing Doom on my Commodore 64. Well, I don't know what the best sound option is. The only thing I can talk about today is which options you have to get the sound of Doom out of your Commodore 64 into your headphones, into, uh, out to your speakers. Um, for this, I have a setup here with my Commodore 64, um, with my mm, audio mixer and uh, some other devices that I will talk about later. So at the moment, you can see hopefully that inside of my Commodore is a 8580 SID uh, sitting there in the SID socket. Uh, let me point to it over here. And um, um, eagerly waiting next to it is a SID kick SID replacement which is currently not plugged in. With the, with this will be plugged in later. So simply speaking this is this normal 8580 SID for normal for this kind of shortboard C64 and the sound you are hearing um, is coming through it using the Ma Mahoney, Mahoney's uh, sampling technique um, to get nice clear sound output through the SID chip. Um, I will turn the sound up a bit and let you listen in a bit more and um, after the sound demo I will then pull out the SID chip and replace it with a SID kick and talk you through the next sound mode. That's, that's the original 8580 playing and um, that's, that should be enough for it at the moment. So I will turn off the sound switch of the C64, switch of the RAD cartridge and now I will remove uh, the SID chip very carefully uh, then I, because I don't want to break it. Bear with. And in goes the Teensy 4.1 based sit kick. So I'm rebooting the 
um, red cartridge with a Doom demo on it. And I'm turning up the sound. <laughs> The sound is now coming through the SID chip, uh, SID kick, SID replacement in a special DAC mode where, um, well, the limitations of a normal SID chip are circumvented somehow. Um, let's listen to this. So the next option is now to co combine the SID chip with the MIDI, bre MIDI breakout board of the SID chip over here and uh, to get the DOOM music as MIDI signals out through this cable and into this box here which is um, a bulky MIDI 32. Inside of it, it lives uh, an MT32 by um, that's a project by Dale Windham and the case and PCBs around it are designed by Tebble. And uh, so I will turn on the bulky MIDI for you. Bear with. Now I have to switch off the C64, switch off the RAD, replace the SD card with a different kernel. and reboot the RAD cartridge. And now if you watch the uh, Bulky MIDI 32, it's coming to life. And the violin now, which you can hardly hear because of all the shooting, the violin, I, I just used the mixer to get rid of the um, the sound effects to just have the music. The violin is now coming through um, the MIDI instrument, uh, the, the MIDI synth. Um, the sound front is General User. It's called General User, which has a very good uh, quality. <laughs> Let's start the game and listen to the um, sound of the first level. That's all for the MIDI demo. I mean, I can't. I'm, I regret I can't play all the songs um, now for you, which sound ri rather nice via MIDI, and uh, um, are more like what you um, were used when playing Doom in the 90s on a PC, maybe. Right. Okay. Now you might be asking, I don't have a SID kick. I don't have a 
and MT32 Pi. I don't even have an original SID chip, it's broken, so how do I listen to Doom in that case? And uh, in that case you have a third option, and that the third option is called uh, Digimax. Um, Digimax was invented in around 1997 by Vanessa Dannenberg, and we have here a, a variant of uh, the Digimax, and it's called Digimax Dual by Jim Brain. It, um, the Digimax has a DAC, 8-bit uh, DAC chip, chip on it, and it's plugged into my user port right now. So to um, show it to you, I have to um, switch the SD card again. All right, and uh, the RAD is rebooting again. Let's turn this on. And now, what's happening now? The sound is now coming through the um, DAC of the user port Digimax, but uh, it's only one channel sound. That means it's mono and it will be only on one side um, of your headphone. So I will double it up via my capture software to get a stereo signal uh, or double mon mono signal out of it. So let's listen to it for a moment and I switch it to stereo in, in a second right um, you should be able to hear it now on both sides of your headphones hopefully um, yeah um, let's listen to this The sound is a bit louder when I um, launch a game. The, the, the music in the first level is louder than the music in this um, auto play mode. So let's listen to this. Not bad, not bad. All right, um, let's wrap this up. Thank you for your time and your curious curiosity about um, Doom sound uh, modes on the RAD expansion unit. So we heard the real SID chip resting up here. We heard SID kick DAC mode. We had SIDKIC combined with MIDI output, um, getting the MIDI um, into the MT32 Pi. And we had, and are now hearing, still hearing, um, the user port um, Digimax with the, an 8-bit chip. All right, so enjoy the rest of the day and don't play too much Doom. Thank you for listening and watching.